Hi, what's up there people? Just wanted to give you a quick tutorial here on how to easily farm some Eye of Deaths if you're trying to increase your rank with the uh, Gravelord Covenant in the Tomb of Giants with Nito in order to get the uh, Gravelord Greatsword Dance Miracle Spell. Okay, so we're going to want a couple of items to make this as easy as possible. First being the rusted iron ring. That's just going to make it easier to run through Blight Town. And the second ring is the covetous gold serpent ring. Here we go. So once we're at our farming location, we will swap rings and it's going to make it a hell of a lot easier to get some of those Eye of Death drops. Um, the things that we farm from, the, ba the Basilisks, actually can kill you by curse. And I'm actually cursed at the moment and my HP is halved, so I'm going to use a Purging Stone, which you can purchase from the Sewer Merchant, just to get myself cured and my HP back up to normal. Uh, but without further ado, let's be on our way and I'll show you where to go. So first place you're going to want to walk to is the Daughter of Chaos. So off we go. Okay, so from this area we want to head back up to where we fought Quelag and uh, cross on over the arena and head up back on into Blight Town. Luckily, it will be in Blight Town for all of about 30 seconds because. Uh, it's a bit of a pain in the ass that area, so that rusted iron ring is uh, going to do you well here uh, because it just allows you to run across the swamp um, at fast speed instead of um, sluggish. There's some eggheads around here, don't touch them or you basically end up looking like them and get some kind of curse. Not very fun. Anyway. Here we are in the splendour that is Blight Town. Everybody loves Blight Town. Okay, so remember to have that rusted iron ring on. And then just follow my path. I wouldn't really worry about getting poisoned at this stage. No matter, I mean, you can see I've got quite a big health bar, but even if your health bar is quite low it, as long as you've got some purple moss clumps or some um, some kind of poison resistance then uh, you'll be you're gonna be okay so just charge on towards the tree you can see it just off in the distance now we'll be heading for that slope So here we are. Okay, so just going to take that um, blooming moss clump just to get rid of the poison. And head on into the Great Hollow. Okay, so um, before we start the farming, I'll just let you know that the um, farming takes about a minute at most each time you do it. So uh, make sure you rest at the bonfire here. But the point is, it's really easy. You can do it within a minute. And if it doesn't work, just homeward bone out and then do it again. So let's get this rusted iron ring off and on with the serpent ring. So 
see on the right hand side the item discovery is boosted to 300 so here we go so literally as soon as you step onto the walkway here you can see a walkway directly to the right we just want to drop onto that and then directly below that there's another ledge and we want to just drop onto that and then behind us is the area where we'll be farming so there's three basilisks in here. Be very careful of their black poison they spit out of their mouth because it'll kill you and it'll curse you and you'll have to use a purging stone. And bad news basically. Okay, so no joy that time. This homeward bone out. I will just add, those purging stones are not cheap either, they're uh, 8,000 souls. So if you do die and get cursed, then it's 8,000 souls to get yourself back on the road. Not cheap. Okay, so let's do this again. Being very careful of that black mist. Oh god, I nearly cursed myself there. Okay, so we've got one drop and looks like we've got two drops okay so that's how you do it I've got two drops there so that's how to farm enjoy the game hope it helps